what's she doing? Oh, oh apart <laughs> from the crazy dance, she's uh, well, she's moved on from processing or taking removing skins and pips from the tomatoes. Well, now we've got to process a rubber glut from last year. And these happen to be uh, a fawnless variety of blackberry. I can't remember what they're called, can you? Fawnless blackberry, I don't know. Oh, that's what we call them. Uh, fawnless, anyway, they've got no fawns on the did blackberry. You, did you want to show them that Ram, before I stick Ram. stuff in it? Huh? Yeah, okay, what, okay. She, oh, what she shows is this device here, all right? There's no other process, they haven't been boiled or anything like that. They've been in the freeze, which breaks them down anyway. This device here has these weird flappy things, and then it has that grate down the bottom, and it forces the fruit through those holes, and by doing that, it leaves the actual skins and pips behind. It's really the pips, actually, we're trying to get rid well, of. Well, just the seeds, more or less, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah so seeds, or pips yeah. are the yeah, seeds. Because obviously, with, 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 there's lots of crunchy seeds in them, and when it gets down to doing, like, um, jams, you end up with too many seeds, and they're yeah, a bit nasty, yeah, aren't yeah. they? I don't like it. Too crunchy. Gets in your teeth. Yeah. So she put it in the top here, like so. Do this might, one's easier, might be isn't it? Messy. Okay, this is it. Okay, oh, look at that juice coming out already. Blimey, look at that. Oh, it's like a coolie. How long? You miss it? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> now she puts it through there two or three times. Because what you find, a lot of the flesh is coming out the top side there. So you put it through again and again and again. And then it just basically ends up in, in here. And she'll use that to make her jam. Now, the, these blackberries, because they're quite sour to eat, and they're not very sweet, which makes fantastic jam. It really does. A bit like, um, you know, like blackcurrant jam. It's really nice, especially in yogurts and stuff. So it's like that Muller Free Corner. <laughs> Remember the old mother fruit corners, Caroline? You used to like them, didn't you? I'm sure it's a bit more healthier, Oz. Yeah. We don't do mother fruit corners anymore, more, do we, darling? We just get Greek yoghurt and stick our jam in it. <laughs> or compote. Or compote. So, these are last year's so, uh, we're, we're going to have a lot of blackberries this year. Um, looking at the actual bushes outside, you know, the, um, the climbers, the rams. So we're going to have another glut. So we've got to make room in the freezers uh, because these are just stored in the freezer. So she's going to be making it into jam. And there's some raspberry jam that she made yesterday. Now we don't worry about fancy labels and stuff like that. And uh, basically she just made the jam and a bit of pectin and all that. You? And um, do you use the confection type of jam? It's always got the pectin in and hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's got pectin. I mean sugar, I mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Or you can use, or you can use just ordinary sugar and buy um, pectin. Yeah. And put pectin like in that. whatever, you, put, bit, whatever yeah. you prefer. Is that stuff called Vectory or something that's stuff you buy here? Pectin? Yeah, begin with V. Yeah. I think that comes in sachets. Now you can buy pectin in a bottle, you know. And it, the problem with the pectin is it's different fruits have different amounts of pectin. And you can actually get pectin from the skins of apples. Caroline, mm -hmm. that must be really noisy that might be that is a bit noisy, isn't it? Should we move, the, we move that microphone? It must be really noisy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you can't help it. It's just oh, I know. She's so noisy. So, yeah, so you've got, to, you've got to balance the pectin. So, although Caroline generally uses um, what you've got, jam sugar, which basically got the pectin in it already, some fruits it might, it might set too much, and other fruits it might not be enough. So, some, what, what fruits do you have the most success with? Um, strawberry, raspberry, um, blackberry and blackcurrant. Would you say because they've got more pectin in them or would you say it just balances out like the, the jam mm, that we've got? No, the sugar that we've maybe got. Maybe they've got more pectin in, I don't know, but they do definitely tend to make a, they lot, set better, better. a lot better jam. So they set um, better. Also, I found last year that the peach jam is okay, but it didn't seem to keep the whole year. Oh. So peach jam, probably because it's, it's just like sh like a sugar fest, I don't know. You'd actually think that much sugar, the sugar itself would keep the peach jam longer, wouldn't it? Yeah, I know, but these, these jams would last a couple of years, easy. Yeah. Now, when Caroline obviously sterilises the jars, but she sterilises them in the dishwasher over there. So put it on a high temperature and uh, it sterilises the jars and the lids. But the thing is, you see, we've got to be careful of is if there's any transfer of bacteria from outside through the seal 
of the actual lid itself. So what we do is we use a little bit of vinegar and just smear a little bit of vinegar around the rim of the jar before we put the lid on. And that just it's like, acts like a bit of a barrier between the actual uh, outside and the, uh, the jam inside. It seems to help. It won't do nothing at all. <laughs> now in the olden days, darling, when uh, old mother Hubbard in a cupboard <laughs> goes away and all that. Anyway, she was uh, uh, like our, our grandmothers. Uh, they wouldn't necessarily have screw top jars like this. No. Yeah, I know it's not fancy jars, but what they would do is they'd heat the jam, obviously put the hot jam into the jar, ready to be set. But then they'd put paraffin wax uh, melted on the top to seal the top and then just have a little piece of sterilised cloth or parchment paper over the top. And you were saying that your uh, grandmother used to that straight it all with like little uh, pink and shears and stuff, make it look pretty, yeah. make nice gifts, you see. And then with a rubber band and then, or a piece of uh, jute, you know, string, tie it around the top, and then you'd um, just leave it like that. The problem with that is, though, darling, if you've got a jam that separates, how do you make sure that the jam doesn't settle? Oh, I usually tip my jars upside down. Yeah, but, problem, but how, yeah, so. exactly. You can't do that with those when you, when you do the paraffin tops. No, I don't know. Paraffin wax on the Maybe tops. Maybe someone knows about that. I don't know. Yeah, it'd be a bit messy, wouldn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> when, when I do my jam, my, when it, while it's curing, I tip the jars upside down for about 15 minutes, then turn them the other way, and then I keep doing I'll that. Oh, stir the fruit up in, in the jam. Stir the fruit up a bit. So yeah, I've got really a bit of a really problem with these lights in here because they keep glaring on the camera. Uh, I do apologise if the picture quality isn't great in this one. I don't know why. The last one was loads better. So that's what she does. At the moment, um, she's just processing them ready to uh, do next stage. So then she will boil them up with the sugar and what have you to make the jam, won't you? Yes. Um, but you've got to do that two or three that times. Show you that later. Yeah. So all this stuff in here, all that juice in there, you'll use that, won't you? You'll never chip that through. So i just go straight through. So she ends up with this. As in the tomatoes, I don't use it. As with this, I use it. Got you. Oh, yeah, well, we use this machine here to process our tomatoes as well. And it creates this, for which, um, well, it actually creates to, yeah, passata, but that's the waste product. Um, but it isn't wasted, because we can actually use that. We make powder. Probably a good idea to wear an apron, because it splatters. Yeah, it's probably like if the, the, the horse is already bolted, darling. Anyway. So that's what she does when she's processing her fruit for her jam. Isn't it right, my darling? Yes. And also, when we do pick it fresh, you can make things like pot apple, uh, blackberry and apple pies and crumbles. And There's no reason things. that fruit can't go in a pie. Well, no, Straight out of the really. freezer. Yeah. Well, so the thing is, you say, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to have another glut. So we've got another glut. We've got to make room for, you know, for storage and also, if we haven't eaten it. It's also time as well, because when we tend to have a glut of this, we've got a glut of everything. We've yeah, got, it's a lot to do. We've got tomatoes coming, we've got um, everything coming at the same time, and there's only enough hours in the, there's not enough hours in the day to actually... Um, not enough hours in a day. No, no we don't, definitely don't have enough hours in a day in this house. No, we don't. No. People, That's all these YouTube videos. <laughs> people sometimes say, oh, you don't work, but... Um, Come on, you've got jam, you've got juice on it. Oh, I know. Oh, it's going to stain it. Oh, God. I don't know. What is she like? Anyway, you can say toodaloo. Toodaloo.